Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And according to this article, feminism in Japan is losing the young women because it attacks big, big boobs and moi drawings. That's quite a headline, isn't it? I think it's losing more than just women, but okay. Yeah, we're gonna talk about this. Gotta give a hat tip to Black Sage D who actually sent this link over yesterday and we took a look at this article. And it's basically saying that, uh, yeah, um, feminism is lose again, this is a translation, but feminism is losing steam in Japan because it is attacking things that women actually like in comics. Mm -hmm. Not just men, it's not just a bunch of creepy men. Right. Uh, you know, but women like these things in their manga too. Right, and, and, and it better not attack the person that posted it because you could tell by the flags next to their bio that they are not the, the straight white dudes that you'd, be, that you'd be trying to attribute it to. Yeah, there you go, guys. So let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys, over 270,000 subs. Thank you for the support, greatly appreciated. Uh, we do talk about manga, talk about anime, talk about the culture wars, uh, talk about all this weirdness when it comes to anime and manga that all of a sudden the West wants to dictate what kind of content Japan produces. You can't say dictate, it has the word dick in it. Yeah, we can't, yeah. <laughs> so this is um, this is coming from a Kudasai, Kudasai. And here's the thing, this is a translation of the article. So it's gonna it's gonna be in English, but... Um, <laughs> English. English. English is funny, if you ever get a chance, go look at like English.com. English is it still there? I don't even know. It's still there, I'm surprised. We should do a video on that sometime. We should, um, but yeah. So it said, young women are turning away from feminism in Japan. Now that shouldn't surprise anyone because you look at what is popular in games and in comics and in animation over there and it tends to be, at least comics designed for women, tend to be pretty girly. Yeah, you know, here's the thing. I want you have to be careful using the term feminism because there's actual feminism. And then there's the the bastardized version of feminism that we have today that they keep saying that is actual feminism. Feminism was about equality and, you know, that kind of thing. It did not mean that, you know, well, if you're a feminist, you you hate men or that, you know, you you have to like think everything women is like better than men or that women are better. And that's not what feminism was. Feminism today, that's what it was. So I think they're actually just turning away from this extremist version of feminism because to me liking girly things does not make you uh anti-feminist well it's kind of the same with you know the social justice movement in general like pushing for equality yeah fantastic fantastic that's great i don't think people should be denigrated based on race or nope, never religion or gender or orientation or any of that stuff right um i think that's that's common sense but that has become a weapon and basically yeah, you know, we have extremists setting the terms of what is and what is not. Which acceptable. is actually causing people to be turning against people that they would normally wouldn't turn against. Yes, it's causing more problems. It's it's like, yes. It's like, oh, okay, so uh now the entire movement has been tainted because you had some extremists using it as a weapon to push their very, very far left views mm -hmm. and intermingling with, you know, communism and anarchy and all this other shit. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, now people are like, yeah, it must all be bad. It must all right. be bad now because these wackos are. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, let's, let's go back to this now. And this is uh, a conversation that keeps coming up because here in the West, a lot of uh, manga companies are actively censoring uh, manga. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, we've seen Western comics be being like, oh, we want to make comics for women. So let's make the women look like men. And let's, you know, yeah. but that's not really what most women want. Maybe a certain subsection of women, maybe some activists want to read comics like that. But and most, there's stuff out there that's for them, I guess. That's for them. That's fine. Uh, so the writer Raiden Bell published a personal article describing that feminism, the feminism movement in Japan would be losing the support of young women, especially since they attack groups of their own sex, such as women with large breasts and they attack entertainment based on moi culture, which is also consumed by other women. You know, I do get tired of the whole boobs are bad thing. I'm like, because then you're just you're just shaming women that do, that you know do have boobs. And since the, the like in the U.S., like the average size is like a C cup or something, mm -hmm. you're you're shaming like most people. Yeah, and there are, every time you have a character, an anime character's got big breasts. It's like, oh my god, it's for the toxic men to. Well, what about women? What about lesbians? What if they want to see big boobs? What if yeah. they like big boobs? Are you are you shaming them for liking big boobs? I'm sure a lot of lesbians like big boobs. You know, if you're a lesbian. I'm sure some of them don't. I mean, it's up to them. But I'm just saying, you know, are you shaming women for liking other women's boobs? And you like, if you're a lesbian, you like mounds. Let us know in the the, the comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I 
let us know. We're going to do a poll. There we go. Uh, so anyway, so first of all, I'm part of the Big Breasted Women group and a lover of Moi culture. At the very least, self-described feminists on social media have actively targeted previous groups for bashing and eventual cancellation. Okay, so again, this is a very rough translation, but basically feminist groups, and a lot of them tend to be dudes. And a lot of them tend to be Western. Western people are attacking, I, we've seen them attack female uh, manga and anime creators for cancellation. They want them canceled. They want them to stop publishing stuff. They go to the publisher and be like, you can't cancel. This offends me. You can't do They're, this. They, they put boobs on the character. How dare they? Um, regarding the first group, specifically when the images distributed by uh, Saya Akani as free material were used in advertisement, there's usual attacks from feminists whose profiles advocated gender equality and the elimination of gender discrimination. They pointed out that the content was inappropriate because it highlights breasts. But it was done by a woman. So you're shaming this woman for highlighting breasts on a character that she designed? Yeah, they said the reality is that not a few of those who call themselves or other feminists are complicit directly or indirectly in this beating of large breasts. So, okay, this, again, this is a very bad translation. It's very bad. Um, <laughs> you know, they're talking about whether he, she, they, or real or true feminists is not the question. If we see that the statements are made by recognized feminists and there are no criticisms, uh, usually there's affirmation of stories considered to be important to be important to feminists and reason to move away from the... Oh, God. Basically, feminism is canceling women. Feminism is canceling women. And that, don't, that don't go along with what they want. They don't go along with the narrative. This has been going on for a while. Oh, my God. When I didn't like certain things, like for she for example, I, I'm bringing it up again because it's one I got a lot of the crap for. I had um, other women telling me I was an internalized misogynist because I said that, you know, I don't think that some of the proportions I thought were, weren't really right. Because even if they had a heavier set woman, they never had big boobs. They were like flat chested. Yeah. And it's like, well, that's not exactly accurate all the time. So here's what's so funny, because I remember um, I remember the drama around, you know, the rising of the shield hero and R. Oh, yes. Billy Billy came in. Yeah, that was so. awful. Uh, the, vo the voice actor of now for me passed away. He was only 35. I know. That's absolutely terrible. And uh, he had he had cancer, unfortunately. And um, yeah, he passed away. Uh, the well, obviously the western voice actor but um r.i.p sir but anyway uh there's a lot of drama around the rising of the shield hero that was I believe written by a woman demon slayer written by a woman uh, all these toxic toxic anime and manga series very popular most of them written by women in fact 70 percent of manga artists are women and another survey uh -huh. that, that, I, I guess i already knew that majority of them were yep and another survey the ratio of illustrators by age shows that the majority of manga artists are young women in their 20s and 30s mm -hmm. and they're the ones drawing the big boobs right because you know boobies are power <laughs> i'm sorry you're like why can't you like why can't like why do people be have to shame like you would say somebody don't shame someone for their body as they shame someone from their body now granted they're cartoon characters but they're women that look like these characters and then out there and they're shamed too so you're like you're like you're told you can't look a certain way by the people who tell everybody except everybody so more than 500 female artists have been identified in the adult manga industry which may account for around 60 percent of all adult manga artists uh, we're unable to find data on the male to female ratio of Moi culture fan base and in a comprehensive survey. We did find the fan base for uh, Love Live and the Idol Master, which are often considered male oriented games, have a fairly high number of female fans. This doesn't surprise me at all. I'm yeah. not surprised by this in any way, shape, or form. I like, I'm going to tell you flat out, I like girly stuff. Yeah, I'm, I and I, I do, and I, I believe that you know women and, fe and actual feminism, not the feminism they push. I love that shit. You know, the girl has big boobs. I don't care. I think it's funny because I relate. I think it's hilarious. It does not make me like, oh, my God, how dare they at any point in time. Uh, Zuki Chan. Yeah, I remember that was that was a big thing. No pun intended. That was like, oh, my God, look at her breasts. Oh, yes. Yeah, everybody had a shit. Oh, my it. God, look at her breasts. Um, you know, the, the thing boobies about. Boobies are power. Boobies are power. Look, this is again. This is the West, I believe, trying to push into uh, Japanese space. And not with them, their boobs. Not with their boobs, and tell them what they can and can't do. Because we're seeing, you know, translators over here taking liberties with translations. And uh, again, if women are not offended, why are you assuming all women are offended? Right. You know, stop speaking for everybody else. And uh, if they actually want to consume this content or create this content. You know, they should be allowed to do that. Just well, don't buy it. All that aside, it seems like that's the way it's all going. At least in Japan, that's the trends they're seeing. If you don't like that trend, I'm sorry. I don't want to tell you. It's not your culture. So shut up. But that's a trend they're seeing. And that's just, that, that's just, they're just 
sharing information because women are turning away from the the extremism that they're seeing over here. Yeah. It's like, why can't you be a girly woman? I, I get so tired of this because I've taken so much shit. Neon can back me up. How many times have I taken shit for being a woman from the people who are trying to be out there promoting women? Yeah, it's usually men. Well, not always. It's been women. I actually some of the biggest bullies towards women for feminism are other women. Mm -hmm. Because I'll tell you what, when I did the um one that maybe the one article they wanted us to do, and it was about they asked women about working in the comic industry. And they asked all these women, I was the only one that had pro credit. The only yes, one. Yes, yes, I remember and, that. I remember and that. I basically didn't go on the narrative, which was, you know, women are being kept out of, you know, if comics the whole way around. I'm like, well, not really. I'm like, you know, maybe you could argue the big two at the time. But, like, there's many, many other people that were in charge that were women or they had big deals and they were, like, some of the most famous authors or uh, comic people that were women. And I said, that's not necessarily true. And they would not put my – they took everybody else's statement, put it in the article that would not run mine. I have been told by women I'm not feminist enough because I married and had kids and all this other stuff that I, and I was fighting that, that you, I thought Sailor Moon looked fine. she looked fine. There was no reason to change them. I wasn't feminist enough. I'm the problem. A lot of the women who get mad at me not liking Ray, it was women. I had taken so much shit from other women and some men too, like our old agent and everything else. Well, I wasn't feminist enough and because I had a girl that liked a boy and smiled when he looked at her because that's what a girl that liked a boy would do. Sorry, if she liked a girl and the girl smiled at her, she'd be happy about that too. When you're a teenager, your self-worth gets wrapped up in what other people think of you. I am sorry. I've been there as a mom and somebody who's been the teenage girl. I can tell you. I'm also a teacher. I can tell you I'm not wrong. But it's like they, they just want to hear what they want to hear. And if you don't agree, you're not feminist enough. It's like, fuck you. I'm plenty feminist. There you go. There I'm you gonna go. I'm going to put my pink dress on and go get my girly purse and my sparkly whatever. And I'm going to be feminist all over your ass with my sparkles. You promise? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> anyway, um, I just think it's funny how they end it. The reasons why young girls are turning away from feminism are simple because there are reasons to oppose and there are no reasons to agree. Because it does not represent our interests, it's because it takes away our enjoyment. Why is being a woman a bad thing? That's what I don't understand. Well, one, you're not even allowed to be a woman anymore. There's a whole what is a woman thing going on. Yeah. But I don't understand. Even people who identify as female, you know, they, they, a lot of times they want to identify as female and they want to do the girly stuff. Why? What's wrong with wanting to be girly? What's wrong with... What's wrong with, like, wanting to see romance and, and wanting, you know, to be with a, a guy who sweeps you off? Your, there's nothing wrong with that. Or a girl, if you want. That's what you're so inclined. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm still capable of my own, but I'm much happier being with Neon. Thank you. It's true. Well, most of the time. But it's true. I'm like, I much would rather be with you than by myself. I, I, I like the whole being married and being a wife and being a mom. And it doesn't make me less of a feminist because of it. See, it's your choice, though. You you choose. But, you... That, but, but the other women might disagree, and that's their choice, and they're fine. The difference is I'm allowed, I, I will have no problem with them making their choice, but I'm not allowed to make mine. That's the issue, and I think that's the issue they're turning against. It's okay if they don't, they don't need no man and all that shit. Okay, cool, good for you. But you're telling all these women in Japan and like me that I'm not that you know one I should be ashamed of the fact that my boobs are big, and two I I should be ashamed of the fact that I I like girly things and I like being married and I like guys and I and I need neon and how dare I, and it's bullshit and women are just especially and, and I'm not gonna tell another culture what they can and can't think and what they can and can't do if that's where they are over there then they let them be. See, I I could give an opinion, but I'm not allowed to. Because I'm a guy and my opinions don't count anymore. But I would say a lot of the people having the problems with this sort of are, are women who are angry that other women exactly. are happy by things that don't make them happy. Exactly. Or that they have no interest in or that they think are problematic. But I'm like, well, that's like policing anybody's, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody's a different religion than you and they're not allowed to eat pork because that's their religion. I can respect that. I'm not going to offer you pork when you come to my house. But if I want to eat a barbecue sandwich when you're not here, you know, I'm allowed to do that, right? And most people like, would agree forcing, with that. Yeah, I'm not forcing but they, you the, Yeah, exactly. And it's, But as I said, there's one of force their sensibilities and everyone else to normalize how they feel. Just embrace how you feel. If you don't agree with it, embrace how you feel. But don't expect everybody else to feel the same way. And understand and accept that. Don't buy books that offend you. Don't play games right, that offend you. I mean, so much out there. Pick something else. So much out there. Yeah, just let other people be happy reading, watching their stuff. But whatever. I think people are turning it. against it because they're tired of being told 
that what to think. They're tired of being told this is bad because we said so. They're like, fuck you. I'm gonna go watch a girly romance comic when the girl has big tits and she's very, you know, she's she's very girly and does all the you know things that would piss feminists off because I just I want to, I like it, and I don't want to piss them off. There you go. I support that fully. All right, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to brute through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey, guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a... <laughs> Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle to Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Ooh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>